quick and to the point. You're watching WDEF News 12 at noon, live in HD with Nordia Epps. Chip Chow with Webby. And Sunny 92.3's Luther. Welcome back. Hundreds of thousands of American soldiers paid the ultimate price during World War II, but one Cleveland veteran survived two of the bloodiest battles in the Pacific without a scratch. This week, we salute sailor Harry Brenniger. She was 16 years old. You'd need more than a thousand words to tell the story behind this picture. I never had met her. It's a story Navy man Harry Brenniger loves to share. They was up on the bunk above me and I could look up at her. The sailor first laid eyes on the photo in the early 1940s during World War II, years before he ever saw the real thing. Two 250-pound kamikaze bombs, suicide plane bombs, and it hit our ship and it didn't even hit that. It's like a symbol of Brenniger's time in the Navy. He enlisted at 18 years old and became a radar man on the USS Hallorum. The World War II veteran spent most of his three years in the Navy in heavy combat, fighting in two of the bloodiest battles in the Pacific, Iwo Jima and Okinawa. The memories stay imprinted in his mind. Our ship was on fire, and another destroyer came up at Okinawa there and helped us fight fire or we'd have sunk. Did you know 32 of our ships at Okinawa was sunk? 32 of our ships we kamikazes and killed 10,000 of our sailors. Brenniger remembers being at Iwo Jima when the photographer snapped this iconic picture. And he fought in Leyte and survived it all to tell his story. Men killed all around me and I didn't get as crazy. I grieve my buddies. Some of them are lying over there in the sand and uh, they didn't make it. The sailor made it home to meet and marry the love of his life, whose picture helped him through many a long night at sea. He and Charlotte are still married today. I'm not a hero. I won't tell you, I'm not a hero. I don't regret the war. I did what I could do, and I did what I'm supposed to do. And we salute him for doing what he did. If you know a military member who you'd like to be recognized on News 12, just head to our website to nominate him or her. It is wdf.com slash military.